It is section 4.2, Richardson Extrapolation. Richardson Extrapolation is used to generate high accuracy results using low order formulas formulated on two or more different corridors. Let's see uh, this example. Derive the three point midpoint formulas. Here for f prime x, this is the 30 point midpoint formula, and this is error. Uh, similarly, for f double prime at x, we have the formula and error. Look at the error terms. Uh, it includes second order term of h and fourth order term, sixth order term, and, and so on. For f double prime, also the same. Uh, second order term, fourth order term, next one will be sixth order term, and so on. To derive the formulas, uh, we will use Taylor series expansions. f at x plus h uh, is expanded about x. Here, f of x and f prime at x times h uh, plus, and mm, mm, this formula can be gotten. Um, earlier in chapter 1, we considered the n. Now, for f at x minus h, you can get the formula easily by replacing h with uh, minus h, so that for odd with the terms, we'll change the sign here for h and h cubed here that is minus. For even of the terms, the sign will remain the same. Okay. Now we'll try to add these two equations or subtract uh, these two. But then we can get uh, these two equations. If you add, for example, uh, uh, then here this uh, plus and minus will disappear, and that also will disappear. If you uh, subtract, then here this even or the terms will disappear. Now we can solve these equations for f double prime at x and f prime at x. So uh, if we do that way, then uh, you can reach at the formula. For example, for this one, uh, now you move everything else to the other side and then divide by h squared. That will make this a second formula. And uh, from this one, you move everything to the other side and divide by 2h, then you'll get the first formula. Okay. The result and example for 11 can be written as in this way. M is the desired quantity. Now we want to get uh, these values, and now this is approximation um, and using uh, this uh, uh, midpoint formula and the parameter is H so that here NH is an approximation uh, of M using the parameter H. Now the Ki are uh, independence of H. Okay, here is evaluated the X and we may consider okay 30 factorial on the bottom and F 30 derivative at X and also here 5 factorial and here, f fifth derivative at x, we can consider these portions as uh, constants. So we can write in this form. Okay. And this is observation. Okay, here, how can we take advantage of the observation? Here we rewrite uh, uh, that equation mm, 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 here again. And now we try to write out the equation 
uh, with h replaced by h over 2, which means that and the mesh is now, the grid is refined. Rather than h, we are using half the h. Then the desired quantity is the same. The numerical scheme will be obtained along with h over 2. Now error uh, will be here h must be replaced so that this um, uh, will have uh, such uh, quantities, especially the leading term in error is now in, in here the value becomes a quarter of the original one. Now we may try to eliminate this one uh, in this way. We write this one here and for that one, we multiply 4. Then 4 times of m is the same as 4 times of that one. And this one will be now the same as this one. And for remainder terms, we multiply the 4. And subtract. Then here left hand side is 3m. And right side is this one minus this one. And this will disappear. And now, the leading error will be fourth order. And eventually, here we have the desired quantity as four times of the formula on final grid and minus uh, the formula on coarse grid and divided by three. Then, here the error must be fourth order. That is uh, the first step in Richardson extrapolation. The reason we say the first step is that we can use this technique recursively. Now, we name this one as N2 of H. Then again, over time, you may consider uh, H over 2. Then here, this um, error will become, because um, now h is replaced by half h, so that um, 1 over 16 will appear. And along with 1 fourth, it becomes 1 over uh, 64. And to eliminate this term, we can multiply 16 here and subtract that one. And now, then left hand side will be 15, and divide by the 15, we can get this formula. Exactly the same logic, but now we are using rather than 4, uh, we use 16, and we can get uh, this formula. If you uh, use this uh, technique recursively, then you can get now 8th order, 10th order, and so on. Okay. Okay. Here, uh, algorithm Richardson extrapolation. Uh, the above idea can be applied recursively. The complete al algorithm of Richardson extrapolation algorithm is formulated as here. First, we select a convenient H, and we try to compute here refine the quantity and but now here we are using second order the same algorithm but in the beginning we try to use h but now h over 2 and h over 4 and so on that will uh, occupy the zeros column of d matrix and then uh, by using table technique we try to compute to the quantities by using the formula and the Chasson extrapolation. Now here, I is out iteration, which means it is row-wise computation is uh, performed in along with that uh, algorithm. Here we can prove that dij, the entries in the D metric, can be, uh, is the same as uh, M, the desired quantity, and 
uh, plus the error and mm, here so that once uh, the one right column will make a um, two or the higher accuracy will have the accuracy two or the higher in each column to the right now the algorithm can be uh, implemented uh, along with uh, column-wise computation if uh, you do uh, here j implement along with the j out iteration uh, then now in the iteration will be I iteration is yes. column A, uh, column I you can compute to N. But uh, mostly it is implemented along with a uh, low wise manner. as yes. a little bit more convenient. Okay. Uh, in this example, we try to um, use uh, the Richardson extrapolation to estimate. Uh, derivative of a function at 1, once f of x is logger than x, then f prime at 1 is 1. Now we'll use h is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05. We define the function, and h is 0 0.2, and here the central uh, scheme for derivative is given in this way. Now, the x is 1, so that here f at 1 plus h minus f at 1 minus h over 2h for given h, uh, we have this quantity. So, true value is 1, so that this portion is the error. Now, the h is halved, then we have uh, this result, and again, one more then we have that result. This three quantity will, uh, these quantities will occupy the zeros column of the D metric. Okay, we'll see here that D metric. And now uh, D11, one one, the, uh, in fact, that one will be uh, gotten uh, 4 times this one minus this quantity divided by 3. Now for this one, 4 times this one minus this one divided by 3. And now 16 times this one minus this value divided by 15 will have that one. That is exactly here, uh, remain the computation. Uh, 4 times of d10 minus d00 over 3 and now uh, the below one and here right side one we can get this value this value is here now uh, we'll try to measure the accuracy for uh, uh, this column true value is one now d11 then the error is this one now one minus d21 this value is this one and we try to measure the ratio, then we can see it's about 16 times. The H is halved, and the um, expected error must be here, yeah, 1 over 16th. So that is really a fourth order. If you make one more here, then you can see here now um, the sixth order accuracy. Okay. Now, as you can see here, the accuracy is really good, even though here we uh, go down only up to 0 0.05, and by using Richardson extrapolation, you can get such a good uh, approximation. Now, for logarithm x, we'll try to use uh, Richardson extrapolation uh, to approximate f double prime at 1. The true value is minus 1. Again, we are using h is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05. This is for second derivative, the formula. 
and here that is the error now okay with 0 0.1 we have this result uh, with uh, 0 0.05 and we have that these uh, three values will occupy the the zeros column okay now again uh, 4 times this one minus this one divided by 3 will be this one and 4 times this value minus this uh, divided by 3 will be this one and 16 times this value minus this one divided by 15 will be that one now as you can see here is really good accuracy and again exactly the same way we try to check the the components order for that column and we see here now is um, about uh, fourth order a little bit better than fourth order uh, but anyway asymptotical, asymptotically it must be fourth order okay uh, in example 4.9 we use the Taylor thread to drive the uh, formulas and that is mm, and here this formula uh, was obtained okay now if you are using now Taylor series then and fourth order scheme can be obtained in this way okay here now by using this one and we can write here f double prime at x0 as yes, now this one n over h and uh, uh, this term this is exactly that one and and 2h is course one 2h means that and h is now uh, is elongated so that and uh, 2h uh, uh, then here this one and then here uh, we have f double prime at x0 and, and 2h is rather than h we are using 2h this leading with the term will become um, four times larger so that we multiply four here subtract this one and divide by three then uh, here you, you can get fourth of the term then that error is, is actually uh, same as that one and also if you do here four times this one minus um, here uh, this 2h and 2h and divide by 3 then that will be exactly that one so from the second order um, formula you can get fourth order formula by using the Richardson extrapolation and also the corresponding error is exactly same as the here the original fourth order scheme here we have claim four times of uh, 4.30 minus 4.32 that one divided by three gives exactly the same formula as the second equation of 4.29 this implies that the Richardson extrapolation results in the numerical solution of a higher order accuracy on the fine grid level. So uh, try to do some detailed computation for your exercise problem. Yes, uh, exercise 4.3 is one of your homework problem. Okay. Okay. This is the end of the section. Thank you.